Hello everyone. Uh, sorry if my audio is a little off and my voice is a little off. Um, I've been noticing I have like kind of a horsey, raspier voice. I don't know why, but it's, I can't explain it. But but also my audio is probably a little off too um, because I'm actually using my tablet right now because there's a couple things I want to show you guys on my cell phone um, versus that's normally what I do use when I make my videos. So the audio and the microphone are going to be a little off on the tablet. So bear with me on this video, but it is a good video, I promise. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys and uh, walking you through on ways to save money for those of you who use Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, and also giving you tips on if you like to transfer money between you and your friends or uh, banks that you, like if you have two banks that are not affiliated with each other and you're trying to send money from one to the other, uh, ways to save yourself time and money on transferring your own funds from one place to the other. So I'm gonna walk you through those steps uh, and also give you my personal opinion on what uh, bank I, I prefer. And I can tell you, even working, not working, well, yeah, I've worked for and also uh, banked with uh, USAA and Bank of America um, that they're not the best. And as you probably have seen in one of my other videos where I kind of like debunk like USAA's auto insurance, <clears throat> they are, they are not the best when it comes to their auto insurance. They may offer great customer service, but when it comes to the the coverage and the cost you pay for it, uh, you can go back and look at some of my videos where I've shown that you can get the same coverage, if not better, for half of the cost that they're charging you, um, as well as even for your cell phone coverage. Um, I've done a video about that too, um, where I showed you how to like save, you know, basically more than half on your own coverage for your cell phone carrier. So I do appreciate you guys trusting me and, and me um, being able to provide you guys my personal opinion on, on ways to help benefit your lives. Um, and I wanted to show you guys um, that you guys have really entrusted in me and, and you guys uh, actually take what I say to heart because um, when I posted my car insurance video from like three or four years ago, uh, since that time, 62 of you guys, and there's my 62 right there and 40 right there, 62 of you guys have actually tried to start a quote with that insurance company. Uh, and then 40 of you guys actually have an active policy with that company. So not only did everybody at least attempt to go try to do it, but you actually went through with it and got a policy. So congratulations to those. And, um, and that was just trying to get people away from USAA. I don't have anything against USAA. Like, like I said, I've been with them since I was a teenager. They're, you know, they're for the military and you have to like, you know, qualify to be a customer uh, of theirs. So I get it. Like they have this, um, you know, they're kind of put up on this pedestal, but they are not the best. <laughs> they actually will rip you off. Um, and so, and then the other thing is too, even with my cell phone coverage, uh, my video that I did with that, I also wanted to say a thank you. I do appreciate you guys uh, joining in or at least trying to save yourself money, um, not only for yourself, but like even for myself and my mom. Uh, the referral links that we've had for the cell phone coverage, uh, not only for myself, I had almost two years worth of free coverage and so has my mom. Um, so like the, all these, there it is, all these uh, referrals that I've gotten, there's just, you know, pages of them. My mom has got the exact same amount. So we haven't had to pay our cell phone bill in two years. It's really nice not having to pay a bill. And same with our car insurance. I didn't have to pay my car insurance on my new Bronco for about a year. So it was great. Um, but that's thanks to you guys. And so I'm going to try to um, do it again and instill it in you guys and show you that there are better ways to do things um, and ways to save money on s things that you guys do and use every single day, like Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. So with that being said, let's get into the video and I'll sh walk you through some things that I've noticed and things that I'm going to help change your, hopefully change your, your banking, uh, you know, from this point moving forward and, and get you guys some more money back in your pockets. Cool. All right, so let me just start off right from the beginning. When it comes to USAA, um, they have their one of the benefits that they do have um, is that they are they don't charge for ATMs. Uh, they'll reimburse you for ATMs, and they don't charge for their basic accounts. Uh, they're all free, and uh, so and there's no like minimum amount that you have to have in there. Bank of America, they do, I think, have require like a certain amount to be in there or they start charging you a fee. And I'll tell you when I worked for them, oh my gosh, it was like they, they require you to try to sell and open up new accounts 
uh, that people don't want. They don't, they don't want an account and yet they're like forcing you to try to open up these accounts erroneously to, to customers that don't want it. And then they then enforce their, or they then push their staff to basically have accounts that we don't even want, I didn't want. And then once you open an account and you don't even want it and you don't use it, what happens? They charge you a fee. Like they charge their own employees a fee. It was like, I don't know, five or $20. And then because I didn't have any money in it, because I don't use it, I use other banking institutions. Uh, then they charge you a, like, an, uh, what's it called? An overdraft fee. So because you, you have an overdraft fee now, because you didn't, you know, they basically wiped out your money for the, the, the annual fee or whatever the fee was just to have the account. And then if you don't pay back the negative about, the amount in like five days or something, what do they do? Give you another fee. So I closed that account so quick and you, you that I told them, I was like, I work here. I've never even used this account and yet I'm in the negative, like 50 bucks or so. I was, it was ridiculous. Never again, Bank of America. Um, but, it, and I think Chase was kind of similar to that as well. If I remember correctly, I opened up an account with them, but things could have changed and things may still change. So by the time you watch this video, things could have changed by now. There could be other promotions, other um, you know, ways that they, they operate their checking accounts. This was from my personal experience. So anything I'm saying, this is from my experience. Um, and USA, I still use, I still have an account with them. Um, and I have had them since I was a teenager. So I've had a long relationship with them, but there's better, I promise you. So for those of you who are like dying to get into USAA, you don't need USA. There's so many better things out there that are um, way more beneficial. And for those of you who are with USA, and I know it's a lot of like older military people, and they just want to stay with them because they've been with them for so long. I promise you, there are better banks out there. You don't have to be with them that are FDIC, you know, FDIC insured. Uh, you know, they're they're just as good. And and the other thing is too, USA does not have any branches. There are just as many other banks out there that don't have branches um, that you can do everything mobile, online, internet, uh, you know, banking. It's, it, it, they make it easy, I promise you. Um, so I keep looking over to the side because I have my notes over here. But for those of you who use Cash App, Venmo, PayPal for your bank, I highly recommend you don't, okay? They're not FDIC insured. None of them are, uh, those three that I just mentioned. And so that means if you have like a direct deposit or your check your paycheck is going into those accounts and you're using like their debit cards and stuff it's fine to use their debit cards and it's fine for if people are sending you money to then use those cards to go make purchases and stuff but that's just like you know little shopping here and there don't keep your entire and you know your, your your bulk of your pay or your money in those accounts they're not fdic insured and if they go under or if they have an issue you're screwed and furthermore if you have, and I know all the people who use Cash App or Venmo, you know that when you send money to a, to a person or a friend, once that money goes out of your account, you cannot recall that money. Like same with Zelle, you can send the money out to a person, you cannot get that money back. No matter if you file a claim, no matter if you say, oh, I sent it to the wrong person, they don't care. You send the money, it is gone, okay? So just be mindful that when you're transferring money back and forth to friends, you have to have the right person, the right contact. Um, it's, 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 it's stressful because you could be sending your you know, $500 to somebody and it could just be gone and you sent it to the wrong person. And that person does not have to return the money back to you just because you, know, you reach out and ask them. It's not, it doesn't work like that. The, the, the stuff I'm going to show you will help prevent that. So you can still send money to people instantly, but you have the option to even reverse that transaction as long as they have not accepted it. So whereas Cash App, Venmo, you send it out, it's gone, where now you can send it to somebody instantly, okay? And unless they actually claim that money uh, into their bank account, you can still go in and reverse that transaction out of their you know, their notification or what have you. So um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. And I think a lot of you who use this bank or, or these features may not even realize all the benefits that you can get with it that will help save you money and save you time on waiting for your money to move back and forth between banks and from your account into your bank accounts. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it in real time. And so that way you guys can see how quickly the money will transfer from one, one to the other. So the bank I prefer to use, and it's not really where I keep my money, I actually keep my money in some other account, but I use it for my direct deposit. So when I have my paycheck come in, because they really do offer you a way to get your paycheck days earlier, two days earlier, um, in a real two days, not like a USA, you know, two days, but it's really like, you know, 
one day. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys my account and I left like $200 in the checking accounts for this video so I can show you things going in and out. So just to transfer, I'm not going to show you my transaction history. So I put one of my old YouTube videos on top of my transaction history. So you guys can't actually see, you know, like my, uh, my transaction history below my amount, but I will go in and I'll show you <clears throat> how to transfer it out. And what happens is this transfer, <clears throat> this transfer will be, <clears throat> sorry, you can transfer to any person or any bank um, as long as they have a debit card. And so the benefit to that is you transferring your money from your, your account with Chime, let's say, and you're trying to send it like you're paying a, or splitting a tab or you're trying to like pay somebody like with Cash App or Venmo like you would normally do for babysitting or splitting a, a dinner or whatever. So when you send money to a person with Cash App or Venmo, most of those people are not keeping that as their bank. And so they're going to be taking that money that you sent them and they're going to be depositing it back into their checking account or with whoever they bank with. When they do that, they have two options. They can either get the money instantly and pay like a dollar or one or 2% fee to get it instantly. Or you can um, just do it like not instant and then the money would go back into their checking account probably in about you know two to three days, right? We can bypass all that. There's, there's no fee, like no one or two percent fee to have it instantly. And there's also, uh, there's, you can have it go directly into your account without waiting days for it to hit your account. And the same with transferring from a bank to a bank, okay? So it's, it's, it's so much more seamless and, and it's so much more beneficial. Ready? I'm going to show you. So what you do, and mind you, they do not have to have a Chime account. So you can pay anybody, even if they have Chime or not. So what you do is you're going to go into, let me make sure when I hit this button, it's not going to like <clears throat> show you guys all my contacts. And it would have. So, <laughs> so what you do is if you're in the Chime account, you would go in and you would hit pay someone at the very bottom. And let me just go ahead and bring up my own personal one so it drops it off all my contacts so you guys aren't seeing everybody on here. <clears throat> so what I like to do is I like to use um, like a, a text, or I like to text myself or I can use an email address that I'm affiliated with like a Gmail account, Yahoo account, doesn't matter. You basically can go in here and you could put in and I use my, my Google voice, my Google voice um, phone number, like I've had another phone number so to text myself. You can just text yourself the amount that you want. And as long as you email yourself, text yourself or somebody else, it doesn't matter. You can go in here and just type in the amount. So like I'll put in $50. So $50, you do have to put a comment at the bottom. So you can just put like bills, rent, whatever. It doesn't matter. And then once you, I can't even spell bills. And then once you hit, you know, you put bills and then you hit pay, this is how quickly it's going to notify and pay and you'll see a notification pop up at the top of my screen and this will be a text message that i got saying hey there it is you'll see a text message pop up that'll say hey you got a, you got 50 bucks coming from you know carlos and he's wanting to give you 50 bucks but that's okay you don't have a chime account you have a usaa account right so all you do is you go into your text message or your email because like i said you could do either one and by the way, you can do up to $5,000 like this per month. So you can send quite a bit of money instantly with no, no fees, nothing. You'll get a, you'll get a link that will basically say, um, tap the link. Cause if you want to claim your 50 bucks that they sent you, you tap the link and it will say, and because I've done this before, once you've put in your debit card one time and, and it's, you know, they'll, cause your phone will remember, your phone will remember who you are or Apple phone. It remembers your debit cards and your credit cards. So because I have already used this once before, it already knows it has my debit card for my USAA account on here. And it simply just says, do you want to cash out using your debit card that you already have on file? You hit yes. And it's done. So now $50 has gone from my China account into my USAA account instantly. And you don't have to worry about doing bank transfers like that take days to do. And you don't have to, there he goes, there, now it's in <laughs> to my account. And you don't have to worry about, um, you worrying about a fee or, you know, percentage of your money being gone when you do Venmo or Cash App, right? So the other cool thing is while that was sitting in my inbox, that, that link I had to tap in order to claim my $50, that whole time 
if somebody has not noticed that text message or has not put in their account to you know claim that money you can just still recall the money so if you've made a mistake and sent it to the wrong person during that window of time you have the opportunity to take it back and, and reverse the transaction and wipe it clean where in all of those other ones you don't get to do that you don't get to like claim the money back and once it's gone it's gone um, so that's the other advantage and then once they've tapped the link and they've actually taken the money from you know taken the money that you've sent them you then get another notification that says hey this person has now claimed your money and it is now gone so you get a notification saying once the transaction has been complete completely successful all the way through I personally love it. So when I get my paycheck, I can transfer to any bank I want. I have like two or three banks. I can transfer to all of them instantly. I can transfer it into my Robinhood account instantly. Anybody who has a debit card, you can transfer into their account instantly. So I transfer money from my Chime account to my Robinhood account instantly. And, and just because, by the way, I don't know if you guys know this, but Robinhood has an APY right now of 4.65%. That's a lot. Um, so I highly recommend using that as well. Um, or the other one I, I've been, I've been using as well as Credit Karma. Credit Karma has 4.10%. Um, I know Apple has a new, um, I think they're doing like Apple Pay or Cash or something. I'm not an Apple person, but I know that they have like a four point something that's pretty high as well for your APY. But I believe you have to like open a credit card with them. So there's, there's a catch to that one. Um, so that being said, I recommend using uh, those institutions, if you want to like save, you know, save your money, keep your money in an account that has a high APY, um, and as well as save yourself the time and not have to worry about your money being transferred around for days between banks, and you're losing that you're losing that money on interest, you're losing those days of the transferring, but you also don't you can send to anybody now. You can bypass Cash App or Venmo or PayPal um, because you can just send it to anybody who has a debit card. And they don't, you don't get to know, like if you have your debit card that you're entering in to take the money, you don't get to know that person that you sent the money to, <clears throat> you don't get to know their debit card. <clears throat> it's secure. It all goes into like basically uh, the Chime app. Basically, you just go in there and type in your debit card number and it goes into their checking account. The person who sent it to you does not get to know that information. So you're secure, you're protected. Um, and Chime is FDIC insured. Uh, and they also, on top, on top of all of that, um, if you do open up your account with Chime and somebody else does have Chime and you're sending money to them, they will get the money instantly just into their checking account. So just like as if you would like Zell somebody um, or if you're using like the same bank, like Bank of America to Bank of America or Chase to Chase, the money just goes right into their checking account instantly. Um, and you can see everybody who already has an account with Chime when you go in and um, add your contacts and you'd be surprised there's a lot of people who have chime but the reason why i'm making this video is i don't think many people know even the people who have chime know that you can do this feature where you can send five thousand dollars per month anywhere to anybody and and bypass all that stuff that like banks make a hassle like usa makes it a hassle if i want to transfer from usa to chime it takes two days for it to get over there um, or I have to pay a fee to make it happen instantly. So don't do that anymore. It's, it's stupid. Um, I will leave my referral links down below to, for anybody who's interested in Robinhood, Chime, uh, whatever. I recommend doing that because if you do end up using one of these um, investment apps or bank apps, um, you, you, you get something out of it as well. So you at least get, you know, I think it's like 100 bucks or maybe $125, or I think they give you like free stocks or something like that. I, I, I don't know, but... It's, it's worth it if you're going to do it, use somebody's referral link. If you're not using mine, use somebody else's, I don't care. Just use somebody so you get the benefit of it. Um, that's, that's what I recommend. Um, and then also, if you know of something that is really good, uh, like as far as a bank that you use, or that is a feature that maybe I don't know about that we all wanna know about, let me know. I would be very interested. I love banking, I love banking. Uh, I love hearing about banking info, updates, technology. If you have something that's better or you know of something that has a better APY or um, investment advice or financial advice on ways to save you more money, I, I welcome you. Put it in the comments um, and hopefully this has helped somebody out there because I can tell you, I literally use this every single paycheck and every single week. I literally just transfer money around to all my accounts 
Uh, and I just pay myself into all my my different email addresses that I have, and I just start you know collect and I just put in all my debit cards. So I just transfer money all around. So it's it's something I actively use. And that's why I say when I do these referrals and I do these reviews, I'm only going to review and tell you guys something if I'm actively using it myself, uh, and I find it beneficial. So that's all I have. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.